Well, Josh, this is just the second time these two candidates have even met, let alone debated. But what we've seen of them in previous elements of their public lives would indicate that neither is willing to back down from a fight, and that could make for a very hotly contested debate tonight. This won't be the first Granite State debate for incumbent Congresswoman Ann McLean Custer. She's been on this stage twice before, both times taking on former Congressman Charlie Bass. A Congressman Bass would vote 12 times against the minimum wage raise okay. and eight times for his own. Lightning. First of all, that, if, if I had a gong, I'd go doing. <laughs> yeah. Untrue. Custer won in 2012 following this debate, but came up short in 2010, swept away by a Republican wave. Vote for change and vote for it now. Shortly after taking office, Custer faced controversy after it was revealed that she was behind on property taxes in spite of her six-figure income, a topic we're sure to hear referenced tonight. The challenger this evening is State Representative Marilyn De Garcia. The Salem Republican is a music teacher who was tabbed by the Republican National Committee as a rising star in 2013. But like Custer, she too has dealt with controversy. Just last month, she raised eyebrows after refusing to shake hands following a Granite State debate with primary challenger Gary Lambert. Now that non-handshake certainly didn't cost Representative Garcia any votes. She handily dispatched Gary Lambert in that primary, but some argued that it showed thin skin. And in a previous forum with Garcia, it appeared that Custer might have been trying to get under that skin, perhaps needle or irritate the representative. We'll see if she takes a similar tack tonight. Reporting live outside the New Hampshire Institute of Politics on the St. Anselm campus in Manchester, I'm Adam Sexton.